<laughs> Amazing Grace is another person who's fast with Toy Story. Yay! <laughs> Amazing Grace is another person who's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing Grace is another person who's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. <laughs> and I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring person's fast food toys for glory. <laughs> and so for today, I have a very special toy that we get to review for today. It is none other than... Morton Salt Girl. Okay, so this is a Funko Pop version of the Morton Salt Girl. Well, uh, I suppose uh, everyone will be familiar with this uh, Morton Salt Girl, especially in the United States. Okay, this is so great. She's otherwise known as the Umbrella Girl. Well, for a long time, I, I think even until today, the Morton Salt Girl has been the spokesperson or you know, the one promoting the Morton Salt. Okay, for a very long time. I think uh, she sort of started in 2014. Uh, I mean, 1914, because um, back in 2014, she celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Morton Salt Girl. Proof enough that she is indeed the most efficacious, the most effective endorser for the Morton Salt. Okay, now the Morton Salt was started in Chicago. Yeah, it was from the American Food Company, uh, founded by Joy Morton. Okay, uh, don't uh, let the name fool you because Joy Morton is actually a male. He's actually the son of Julius Sterling Morton. Now, uh, Julius uh, Sterling Morton might sound very familiar because indeed he is quite a prominent personality. He's actually the one who, who founded or the proponent. He was the proponent of the Arbor Day and I just love Arbor Day. Although we don't celebrate Arbor Day here, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful commemoration. Arbor Day is with the time when we plant trees. I, I have this book uh, from Charles Jules about the Peanuts gang celebrating Arbor Day and they were there planting trees as part of the celebration of the Arbor Day. So I just love that. Okay. Now, uh, going back, I have to digress because uh, the father of Joy Morton is such a prominent uh, person and indeed he was actually uh, the one who proposed this very, very significant celebration, that of Harvard. Anyway, going back to the Morton Salt Girl or Umbrella Girl, did you know that this particular uh, sy symbol is one of the most famous Top 10 of the famous symbols and most recognizable icons in the United States and I suppose in other countries which sort of uh, distrib uh, which sort of has the Morton Salt being distributed to them would most likely be familiar with the Morton Salt Girl as well. Okay, uh, so and uh, let's see the back. There's the back. Uh, yeah, there seem to be like a, a lot of stars. Yeah, so the girl, the Morton Soul girl, is uh, um, holding an umbrella and she has this cylinder of salt and it's being poured out. It's such an iconic, iconic symbol. Okay, and as their motto goes, uh, when it rains, it pours. Now, uh, what do you mean by when it rains, it pours? I mean, sometimes when it, when it rains, we might notice that some of our table salt, salt get, gets wet as well. So it's, it becomes very hard for us to pour the salt, but not in the case of the Morton salt. Because uh, they put the magnesium carbonate to coat each of the salt so that um, when it rains, uh, the salt never cease to pour out when you need it. It doesn't get wet, it doesn't get uh, soggy, so as to block the holes in the salt uh, shaker. 
so that's basically the reason why we have the umbrella girl or the more than salt girl um, yeah uh, holding an umbrella and uh, the salt is actually pouring out from behind her <laughs> okay but uh, apparently magnesium carbonate uh, didn't uh, keep up with the parameters so they had to do a lot more scientific uh, investigation just to come up with other other chemicals uh, and it turned out that magnesium oxide or the calcium silicate was so much more effective in actually making the salt in your table salt from the Morton salt <laughs> pouring out incessantly or uh, profusely even when it rains okay so this is it isn't it great would you like to would you like me to open it okay so let's open up this particular package okay tada so here is our Morton salt girl as you can see she has this exquisite umbrella <laughs> she's wearing the trademark white umbrella and then she has the yellow hair blonde hair I suppose and then she has these uh, outfit this yellow ensemble and she is holding that uh, Morton salt and it's pouring out from behind her without her realizing it okay and the base is actually very transparent so it's very beautiful oh wonderful wonderful uh, wonderful homage to this Morton salt girl uh, yeah I mean would you believe that she's actually more than a hundred years old this is very fascinating Look at the umbrella the details of how uh, she uh, holds the umbrella in this handle it is so so superb and look at the eyes <laughs> there is an embossment there which shows that she also has a round eyes but uh, of course the Morton Soul Girl is also is a sort of having her eyes closed so this is a perfect and very faithful to how the Morton Soul Girl would look like in a Funko Pop isn't this great wonderful wonderful toy and uh, here's the box and then <laughs> of course I have to put it back and then at the side we have this uh, full carton version of the Morton Soul Girl and this is the other uh, rendition wonderful <laughs> and I must say this is just an amazing grace now I have to sign all the toys that I have since it makes it harder for me to know which ones are actually reviewed already so what I'm going to do is to actually sign the bottom part of this toy just to make sure uh, just to tell me that I've already reviewed this particular toy oh my goodness okay let's do it Okay, there you go, Percy. It's signed, sealed, delivered. <laughs> uh, from now on, I'm going to sign all of the toys that I have already. So here it is. Now I must say, this is just an amazing grace. So once again, guys, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing graces that come to our lives, be they in the form of a Funko Pop version of the Morton Salt Girl. <laughs> Very beautiful indeed. Okay, or also be thankful for for salt. I mean, uh, in the Bible, it always says that you are the salt of the earth. Um, yeah, that's how important the salt is. Uh, I mean, to be used as a symbol of how to make yourself very important must be uh, must show that the salt is indeed very important. I mean, the way that they try to enhance. The food taste, uh, I mean, it makes everything so delicious. Without salt, everything will be dull. It, it's sort of, uh, yeah, like I said, it enhances the flavor. I mean, they already have the flavors, like for example, the pork, the meat, the vegetables. But when you do add salt, it adds the, <laughs> to the deliciousness of the dishes. So thank you, salt, especially to Morton Salt. <laughs> For uh, providing us with uh, the table salt that pours even when it rains. <laughs> or also be thankful for every amazing grace with a small or big, really seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I would like to thank you guys for all tuning in to Percy's Fast Food Toy Story. And I hope to see you again with our next one. 
But before that, I would just would like to mention this new subscribers that we have with the channel. It's Zach Bonwell and Rafael Ruiz. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing and uh, rest assured that there will be more Percy's Fast with Toys. <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, in the days to come. So, thank you guys, and until the next person's fast toys, bye bye, and see you around. Burton Sulfur. Woo.